hello and welcome again to this video of tableau do it yourself tutorial tableau online navigation in this video you're going to see how to navigate in tableau online so for doing that go to tableau online using link online.tableau.com and then enter your credentials on the server let's understand various tabs so I'm on my server and here you would see the Tableau site is having multiple tabs content users groups schedules tasks status and settings in the projects section we have I have three projects you will have default this project automatically by tableau and this we have published in our previous video clicking on this you can see that the number of workbooks one views two and data sources none clicking on this would give you a list of all the worksheets and date dashboards and stories we also have refresh schedule we are going to talk about refresh you can create a new extract here and you can say i want to do my extract remember extract from the video earlier daily at 3 a.m and there you go so you have an extract of full refresh which is going to be daily at and you can run it now or later you can say run it and it would run next is subscriptions you can subscribe we can talk about it permissions you want to give permissions to the user who can access this workbook so for now we're going to focus on views this is your extract remember this is your extract name and this is the connects where does it connect to now on the top you have users you can add users by clicking on this add user you can enter email addresses or import email addresses from file if you enter email address it's gonna ask you is it a site administrator or publisher interactor groups once you have users or without users you can still create groups but then you have to assign users to group so you can create a new group you can say finance group department group uh, HR group any other groups you can assign and give appropriate permissions to various tableau content schedules you can see list of all the schedules with which you have on your server remember we created a refresh extract schedule there is a separate video coming up to do a batch update or a or a batch mode a command line refresh of your extract in the later videos you have tasks so remember this is the task which we created and then status this gives you the site status that dashboards what was the traffic that means how many users saw what views what was the traffic to the data sources what did all users do and other stuff stats on the load times space usage usage and all the other different activities please remember that this is more like an audit report to make sure your site is in a good condition and then you have settings in the settings primarily there would be two 
areas you can change your site logo like this from here so I can pick up this and drop it you can see I can click on save there you go the site logo has been changed and then you can click on this allow live data source connection if you want to allow you can have live data source connection from MySQL, PostgreSQL and Microsoft SQL data services hosted on the internet. It's only only cloud based so it accesses only cloud cloud based live connections. MySQL, PostgreSQL and Microsoft SQL server data on the internet. So going back to content we're gonna see how to edit a content so let's see how to edit a workbook so here in my workbook I'm gonna open this and this logo is quite big you can make it even small you can edit the logo so here the reason I'm telling this is because it doesn't give me enough space to look into my bottom workbook area so you can open it here first of all let me change this logo because it's not giving me enough space I'm gonna go to the settings and I'm gonna say reset to default and save and there you go that looks better and then go back again to BDCS DIY here and then use this DIY for it opens up so I do not want this view I can click on edit and here this is the original view right so from the left hand side I'm gonna drag and drop department and put it in my filters tab once here you can see it says show filter you know this very well now so I wanna say do not show accounting and you can download this you can save this here and once saved You can go back say done and you can see that DIY 4 is updated please remember updating this does not mean that it updated the work worksheet which was in your it does not please remember it did not update the worksheet which was on your desktop it only updated the worksheet which was on the server so go back to my BDCS and you can see it's updated but again I repeat it's not updating the desktop version you can share click on here and this is your code you can share the link you can share the embedded code put it on your website or something if you want to and let's open the dashboard now so scroll down at the very bottom and you would see dashboards here there you go it's it's so wonderful right you can have the same interactivity which you had earlier so if you want to find out the detailed data for US right click and there is this icon here view data there you go it's so interactive it's so wonderful and that's why Tableau is one of the better tools in the market right now and 
here you can click on full data and you can see the columns or the rows which form that number you can click on show all columns and this is the data which is in the extract you can download this data in a text file so time for some hands-on exercises so log on to the tableau online and familiarize yourself just play around and then open the workbook you created earlier and you can edit views and see what happens thank you for watching